Hello, I'm B. Mills-Above, and welcome to my channel. I'm, so I'm not sure how many of you will remember me talking about having a sleep study done to see if I have sleep apnea, but it turns out, as no surprise to me, that I have sleep apnea. Essentially what happens is that during the night, while I'm asleep, my airway will shut for a short time and I won't be breathing. So, earlier today, I finally had my appointment to pick up what's called a CPAP machine, which is this little guy right here. I should mention that today is relative, because for you watching this video, it'll be a month from my today. I kind of wanted to document how well it's working for the first month, so this video is going to be broken up into little bits and then slammed all together at the end. So I'll make this video you're seeing right now before I use it for my first night. Then I'll do a first day video tomorrow after I've woken up. And then I'll do another video at the end of the first week, basically one for each week of the month until the month is over. And the last segment will be the end of my documentation of it. So here's what I'm expecting my first night to be like. According to the tech who taught me how to use it, there will be kind of an awkward phase where I'm still getting used to it. What this thing does is basically form a seal around my nostrils and push air into my airway, forcing it to stay open. So I'll be breathing against a constant current of air going into my nose, keeping positive pressure on my airway, holding it open. That's where quite a bit of getting used to it is going to come from, other than the obvious things sealing to a part of my face. But what I'm expecting, despite possibly having to wake up and reset the thing to kind of lower the pressure coming into my airway as I get used to it, I'm expecting to feel more well rested when I actually wake up and stay that way. I would try to forecast how I'll feel at the end of each week and finally the end of the month, but having no experience sleeping with the machine on, I'm going to go ahead and reserve any kind of judgment until after I wake up tomorrow. Alright, so it's the first day after using my CPAP machine for the first night. It didn't go really at all as I had expected. I'm guessing that at some point in the night I woke up uncomfortable and took the mask off. I don't remember doing it, so I must have only been partially awake when I did. But I must have been at least a little awake, because in, instead of just throwing the mask off like I would have if I were just asleep and doing it, when I woke up I noticed that the mask was set carefully on the nightstand. So I have to have been at least a little bit awake. I was told there would be a period of time where I would be getting used to it, so I suppose this is just kind of part of that. So instead of waiting until tonight to try it again, I'm gonna try wearing it for a couple hours during the day before I go to bed and over the next few days to see if I can get more comfortable wearing it, because I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of difficult to fall asleep. The, the way I was breathing was considerably different. I, at first, when I first started wearing the mask, I noticed that my breathing was a lot more intentional. So I'm going to try to, you know, practice it breathing more naturally before I go to bed tonight. But hopefully the next week of wearing the mask gets better and goes better than last night did. So I'm at the end of the first week using my CPAP machine and I've got to say I've been sleeping really really well this whole week. I've been a bit congested the past couple of nights so it hasn't been as effective as it's supposed to be but even so I've been sleeping more restfully than I usually would. I'm still trying to find a more comfortable way to wear this thing but I think I might be getting close. Um, I did wear it a little too tight the first couple of nights and actually managed to kind of pull the skin on my nose open. I've got some kind of a uh, cut on my nose. I'm not sure if you guys can see it there. 
But um, yeah, it's it's one of the drags of wearing it too tight or incorrectly, I guess. But that's the end of week one. Let's see how I'm doing at the end of week two. Alright, so we've reached the end of my second week with the CPAP machine, and I've noticed that I'm sleeping fewer hours at night, but that's probably attributed to the fact that I'm actually staying asleep. I'm not waking up to some degree to catch my breath like I would be before I got the machine. Also let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying the better angle that I'm getting with the camera. And say thank you to Purple Rhymes with Orange in the comments for sending me the tripod. That seems like a good stopping spot for this week. I'll see you at the end of the next one. So I might have forgotten a little bit to record at the end of week three. So here at the end of the month, I'm just going to tell you how weeks three and four went. There's actually not a whole lot to say. Um, I mean, I've been sleeping the same as I have since I got the CPAP machine a month ago. And I have energy. I am well rested at the end of about seven hours of sleep. So I'm, there's really not much more to tell than that. So that's going to do it for this little May documentary thing. Um, talking about how my experience with the CPAP machine goes. Overall, it's been fantastic. I can't remember the last time I slept this well, which is kind of sad to say. But if you think, if you're out there watching this and you think that you might have sleep apnea, see a doctor. Because if you stop breathing in the middle of the night, it kind of can kill you. So talk to a doctor get tested. I mean, the testing equipment is really uncomfortable if it's a take-home test. I'm not sure what it's like um, if you actually stay over at the hospital or wherever you get tested, but, you know, it's, it's worth one night of inconvenience, you know. So go get tested and, uh, you know, if necessary, get yourself a, C a CPAP machine. It'll do wonders for you. At the very least, that's my perspective, but if you're still worried about having a noisy machine laying close to your head while you're trying to sleep, you can kind of put that thought to rest now because they've made a lot of progress with these things, and the one that I have is totally silent. But that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, linked below, to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I will see you all in the next one.